<clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its little fat body off the ground. Because bees don't care what human thinks is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Adam? Oh, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for the house. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All peace. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint in your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a mustache. Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows. Sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of a pop under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are B-men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Boswell. Welcome new Hive already graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honex Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. I wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of Hansko, and a part of our hexagon group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to this point where you can work your whole life. Honex begins with our valiant pollen jocks, bringing the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, sun adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing sweet syrup. With its distinctive garden glow you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. Wait, what? She is. Yes, we're all cousins. <laughs> right. You're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here, we have our latest advancement, the Grellman. What does that do? Oh, just that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Grellman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's well done, means a lot. But choose carefully, cause you're staying that job you paid for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees, as a species, haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you're just workers to death? We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But, Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Voice on approach. Wait a second. 
Oh, check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hi, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freakers. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, who knows doing what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. <laughs> Those ladies, are they our cousins too? What the fuck? Distant, distant. Look at these two. A couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be a dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom, he had a paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, I thought it'd jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am, maybe you are not. We're going 0900 JK. What do you think, Buzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Honex, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick and you just mow it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a beautiful rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know that? The more I think about it, maybe the honey field just ain't right for me. You're thinking about what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to get into honey. Barry, you are funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get a tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shake my antenna. Shack up with a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everyone dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today is the day. Come on. All the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stumpy, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What did you get? Picking crud out. Stella. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day, we are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry. The Krellman just closed down. Wax monkeys are always open. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Making another opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Dead. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up, dead from the neck out. That's life. Oh, this is hard. Heating, cooling, stumpy, pour, stir, humming, inspector number seven, link coordinator, stripe supervisor, Mike Wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should do? Barry? Barry? All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Where? Out there. Oh no, I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die, you're crazy. Hello, another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a green deli on the 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lil. We're taking him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today. And as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, 
bears and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, lunch positions. Buzz, 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 black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah. Yeah. Bring it on. Wind, check. Antenna, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Skid out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Burn those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is like blue leader. We have rose visuals. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger, bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. This one is a nectar collector. Ever seen pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, splink it over here, maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one? See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Mm. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Oh, that visual. Wait, one of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're pointing a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. That was the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving the color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little crappy. My sweet lord of bees! Danny Brain, get off there! Problem! Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gotta hurt. Mama's little boy, you are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. How bad? I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing it up, honey. Because you're about to read it. Yowza! Gross, there's a bee in the car. Do something, I'm driving. Hi, bee, he's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbearable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain, can't fly in rain, can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday, be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Fold out. Oh, no more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this. Drapes. This is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. So what's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. No wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. <laughs> wait, wait, stop. Be Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. Those things could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have less any value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume, brochure. My whole face could pop up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right. Bye, Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week. Yogurt next. Sure, can. You know, whatever. You could put car up chips in there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. 
I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here we go. Nah, what should I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. I can't do it. Come on. No, yes, no. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's not good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I'm fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. And I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I just had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we'd have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know, I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I didn't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Well, these stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making a tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into church. The wedding is on. And he says, watermelon? I thought he said, G G Guatemalan? <laughs> Why would I marry a watermelon? <laughs> Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hype. But I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted to be a lawyer or a doctor. But I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? You're in cheap meadow? Yes, right, right off the turtle ponds. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe ring there. What the fuck? Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hand on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up for the rest of my life. Are you? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure, here's a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right, well then, I guess I'll see you around. Or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. All that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you're with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy things. Giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle. You did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Was she beige? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 no. Not a wasp. A spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hardest thing with the alex and all. I can't break by that face. So, who is she? She's... Human? No, no, that's B-Law. You want to break her, B-Law? Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice, and she's a florist. Oh, no, you're dating a human florist? We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, taking to humans that attack our homes without power washers and M-80s, one-eighth stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging stripey. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a cinnamon is? No, it's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down really hard. Listen to me. We're not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. 
Yes, but who can deny the heart that is yearning? There is no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta stop thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming? Got everything all set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be long. Watch this. You we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bitch. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in a tournament of roses, that's every florist's dream. A bunch of floats surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament to the roses compete in athletic events. No. All right. I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. Tivo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? We have Hivo, but it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumbies. You must want to sting all our jugs. We try not to sting, it's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, you take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, what is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pig and safe circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of Mikey Hercules is this? How did this get here? Audi B, Golden Blossom, Ray Leroy, Private Select? Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is he there? For people, we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How'd you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honeyberry. Just what? Bees don't know what about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hi, Hector. You're almost done? Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You busted, box boy. I knew I hit you or something, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you'll stop talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana Ignacio. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never know what hit them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? That will wipe anything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms. I am on something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood, crazy stuff, blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. And you? He really is dead. All right. Uh-oh. What is that? Oh, no. A wiper. Triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance. B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Earl Cazell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just a row of honey jars as far as the eye could see. 
Wow, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You, a mosquito? You in trouble? Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito? Smack, smack. At least you're out in the wild. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up with a moth. Dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose Blood's about to leave the building. So long, P. Hey, guys. Moose Blood, I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, set up a label on it, and it's pretty much real profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Oh, heck, see the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The time is 3,000. Smoker, 90 puffs a minute, semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine, all the time. A cup of puffs at this knocks them right out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money. Oh, my. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah. It doesn't last too long. Do you know you were in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen? It's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no, there's hundreds of them. Bee, honey, our honey is being presently stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you that humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctor photos. How did you get mixed up with this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out. Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs get me all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? I want to do for all our lives. Nobody works harder than the bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Stain them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye. That would hurt. No. Up the nose? That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. Hive at five. The hive's only full hour action news source. No more bee beards. With bomb bumble at the anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger. Spots with Buzz Larvy and Jeanette O'Hong. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble, and I'm Jeanette O'Hong. A Tri-County Bee Barry Benson intends to store the human race for stealing our honey. Packaging it and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Bee Larry King, we'll have three former guests here in our studio discussing their new book. Classy ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about Bill Columbus? Bee Gansey? But Jesus! Where I'm from, we'd never see humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is upon you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you and has a show in suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest. Ever thought you just have heard him? Bear week next week, they're scary, hairy, and here live. Always lean forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. Intended to attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him do the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timlin, size ten and a half. Vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go because we're really busy working. But it's all your good night. Bye-bye. Why is your good night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been such a huge help. Frosting. How many jurors? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities. And it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. That was a great, if you're three, 
and artificial flowers. Oh, those are just give me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stingers, point is pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse. And a daffodil that's had work done, maybe this can make up for a little bit. This lawsuit, pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want me to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here down in Manhattan where the world actually waits because of the first time in history we are here for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You'll think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this? All rise, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presenting. All right, case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively? A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees in the world? I'm kidding you. Yes, Your Honor. We're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it's the man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, you just think of what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my breeches. Talking bee, how do we not know? This isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry. They could be using laser beams, robotics, veletricals, <laughs> cloning for all we know. He could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it, and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you'll not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish you dressed like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Claus Van der Heiden of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Han Ron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper? I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any free beers, do you? No? I couldn't hear you. No? No. Because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image on jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, fuzzy bear, build a bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How'd you live like this head crashing through your living room? Biting onto your couch, spitting out your throat pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take them away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called The Police. But have you never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example. A bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prince about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Leora. First, belated congratulations on your Emmy win for best spot of ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? But is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Why, T. Benson, I can blow right now. This isn't Godfella. This is bad fella. Why doesn't just someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in the court. You're all thinking it. Order. Order, I say. Say it. Mr. Leota, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing any, everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right. Well... It's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. 
Oh, that was lucky. That was a little left. I can hand it up. Yeah, hand it up, sure. Whatever. So I heard you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the king myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume. And he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common. Do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crowd out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry bow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that's all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know I just have out had it with your little mind games. What's that? It's out in vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more available? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How'd you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Waterberg, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing, am I? So, so, dude. Poor water. That ball is gnarly, except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know I don't eat like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar free artificial sweeteners made by ma'am. I'm sorry all about that. I know it's gotta have to taste. I like it. I always felt like there was some kind of barrier between me and Ken. I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about to run out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B through the stamp. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah, Layden, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around is to remind them of what we don't like about the bees. You got tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yeah. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two, from what I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an intelligent. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins. <laughs> Objection. I'm going to pincush in this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, Lordy, I'm hit. Order, order. The venom. The venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. The striped savages. Stinging is the only thing they know. It's Stay away. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from heaving buttocks? I will have order in the court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees. Yesterday, when one of their legal teams took late in T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs and a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still left on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then, and then ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will our humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I heard they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But the bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. Is it? It's not over? Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the car and stall. Stall anywhere you can. And shimmy you've done step correctly. You're ready for the top. Mr. Flyman, yes, yes, Your Honor. Where's the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. 
bees are trained to fly haphazardly. And as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about your honor. Haven't these ridiculous bugs taken enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have decided no compelling evidence to put their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for the complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flaming, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is your evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What, this? This home seal contraption? This could not fly, let alone a bee. Look at what happened to bees who have never been asked smoking or none. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slant work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves for the white man? What are we gonna do? He's playing the species he's got. Ladies and gentlemen, please, free the bees, 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 free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we don't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You regret this? Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if my gum is right? What do you mean? We've been living with the bee a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will we demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then, we want back the honey, what well, was ours to begin with, every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bear breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. We'll have a few nauseas for a few hours. Then he'll be fine. Then we'll have no longer to tolerate being negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products and large da human tea snack snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Boswell, we've just passed three cops and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down before. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball! We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Born in pollination and nectar detail returning to base. Anna, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where is everyone? There they are celebrating. They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans licked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. That was my new desk. That was my new job. I wanted to do really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're not doing anything. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This? What happened? That is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. The whole real thing doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess the bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's a whole sad thing right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me, that just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to the weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant for it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute, roses, roses, Vanessa, roses, roses, berry, roses are flowers, yes they are, flowers, bees, pollen, I know, that's why it's the last parade, maybe not, could you ask him to slow down, could you slow down, berry, okay, I made a huge mistake, this is a total disaster, on my fault, yeah, it kind of is, I ruined the planet, 
I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses, the roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation, tournament of roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom. FTD, official flower business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just picked the right flower. How about princess and the pea? I could be the princess, and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Why should I see him? What are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. Then all we gotta do is blend it with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop. Security. You and your insect packed with float. Yeah. How's it been in your position the entire time? Would you move your shoes? Remove your stinger? It's a part of me. I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention. Passengers, this is Captain Scott. We had a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mom magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What you say, Hal? Nothing. B, don't freak out. My entire species, what are you doing? Wait a minute, I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. I'll oh, bury. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. When a Miss Vanessa Bloom 24B report to the cockpit. And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a flyer from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. So is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson from the Honey Trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry. We're heading in some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport, where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry. His attempt is to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an anticipated flight crew. Flowers? We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flying experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account comrades. They've done enough damage. But isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. How many hurt this a million times? The surface area of the wings and the body mass makes no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize. To us. To everyone. That's why I want to get the bees back to working together. That's the bee way. When I'm made of jello, we're behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello! Right, left, down, hover, hover, forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we're going to order about it the whole time. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. And so it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get this behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Your only chance is if you do what I do. You're coming with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen sharks, they do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello? All right, let's drop this tin can on the back top. Where? I can't see anything, can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, you've got to think B, Barry. Think him B. 
thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute, I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. It's strong, pulling me like a 27 year millennial old insect. Bring the nose down, thinking B, thinking B. Thinking B. What in the world is on the tone rack? Get some lights on that. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, out the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Is it now? That's it. Land on the flower. Ready? For the reverse. Spin it round. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower. Made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. I might cuckoo catch you on this plane. Flying an inside light pattern. Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No high five. Right. Barry worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Well, of course. I saw the giant flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. The runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. This means that this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just museum? and national history keychains. We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here. You've earned this. Yeah? I'm a pollen jock and it's perfect fit. All we gotta do are the sleeves. Oh, yeah. That's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. Anyone needs to make a call? Now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It's bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, Jeez, it's all me, and I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry if you got a moment. Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge chili porter, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? All right, scramble, jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let's go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to stop thinking bee, my friend. Thinking bee? Me? Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right. Take ten. Everybody wrap it up, guys. I had first you know rehearsal for that.